Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live. It's my brand new channel and it has all the non-procedure videos and it's the place I answer all the questions and you can come and interact with me. Make sure to check it out. It's free and it helps me keep this channel, Mr. Popsit, free as well. Thanks for popping Okay by. guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have a common occurrence and right off the zygomatic bone here, we have an epidermal inclusion cyst, a little bit over two centimeters. We see this all the time. We've seen multiple videos like this. You can see that little pore which is the punctum there. So we always watch for our, you know, kind of landmarks coming out of here. There's a nerve that comes across and a facial nerve that comes up this way and down this way and an artery that comes. We're above all that with these, um, but we're gonna get her numb. We mark the outline, make just a little tiny cut there. If the skin's thick enough, we'll likely do um, possibly a running subcuticular, a buried stitch so she has nothing on top. So we'll get her all prepped and ready and be back in just a second. All right, guys, Mr. Popsit here. We have her all ready and comfortably numb. We're gonna get her started. Got a little cover there for her. All she'll feel is a little pressure here. And probably some heat from my light. <laughs> and I do a small ellipse and I get that pore in the middle. She has a little punctum there. I want to make sure to remove that so she doesn't have an enlarged pore sitting there later. And like we always do, we have a little skin handle there at the top. It helps us pull up on the cyst. And this is under some pressure, so it, it'll have some contents in here. If you want to dab from that side. Uh, we're gonna walk back from the wall here. No pain at all, right? No. You're doing great. Thank you. Take that below. Do a little spreading here. Okay, we can visualize that sac there, kind of shiny, really nice. We'll do a little poke on that and drain everything out. So we poke that wall, which should not be painful at all. And this will help shrink the sac for us here. They usually come out like a flower. <laughs> And you can see there different colors, melanin, Latin skin, African-American skin. We'll kind of have some grayish skin tone um, cells. That just tells us the types of cells that are there. And there's a lot of skin cells in there. This one's pretty dry. There it comes. Some people call these like mushroom cysts. So they kind of look like a mushroom when they come out. But that's good. Dry cyst contents. Now that has shrunk the sack, and we can just lift up usually and start undermining and walk these back here and pop this out. The main Important vessels are deep underneath there, but you know, there's little offshoots. If we hit them, we will cauterize after we get the sack out here. Feel some tugging. That's normal. And out there. Looking good and healthy sack. Overstayed its welcome. <laughs> That's right. A little vessel there, but it's present pressure. This is coming out nice.
little fibrous attachments at the bottom always go very slow. I don't want to make deep cuts there. attachment got it so you can see here even with all that that we got out pretty good fill on that sack still very dry contents almost like paper mache we say you can see you can just peel it back every layer a layer per year just like a tree I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding but that's good you can see how interesting that is um, Always turn that over and you can usually see that fibrous sack holds on pretty well. So interesting contents what we normally see. So now let's check out the pocket. Okay. So you can see these facial cysts really carve out a nice little pocket for themselves. And we put in a deep suture that's going to close that. She may even feel a little indent for the first couple weeks, but fat tissue, everything redistributes and skin tightens down. And it does a good job kind of getting back to normal fairly quickly. Any pain there at all? No. Good. About right there? No. Perfect. Nothing on that side. Good. Just a couple little vessels of cauterize and we'll put in stitches for you. Been shocked so many times. Very good. I always put gauze on these because sometimes a little tiny metal burr on that. Sometimes these metal instruments just have a little pooching out of a tiny bit and it arcs through my glove. One time I threw it up in the air. <laughs> it was not fun. I always say if you're doing a facial cyst and you don't hit a big vessel, it's a good day. <laughs> For sure. Always approximate, bring that together nice. These these will go with just a natural facial line. It's not that she has any, she's so young, but in time the scar will hide. When she gets wrinkles someday. <laughs> Many years from now. <laughs> Always approximate there. There we are. Bring that down. And a little dab. little puckering up there, tissue reversion. Put those hairs back there. Thanks. And one more. Go all the way down. Skin's very thin here on the face. Come on over. That's all we need. Still comfortable, we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Good.
These needle drivers don't pinch very well. Take that down to the knot. Uh, that's not bad. It's a good eversion, I like it. Sitting nice. That little pinch or puckering, that's gonna dissolve as that suture dissolves. So we're running subcuticular here, so we're gonna do a little stitch at the end. Skin is just so thin here. And I'm just going to cut the one here. Right there, if you want to cut just that one all the way down, perfect. And we'll take a bite here. Now these are hard to record always because my hand's in the way, but that's okay. And a nice shallow bite of fascia there. through so when you're running these you want to see where you're coming out there and you go just back a little bit from where it came out on that side so we'll go right here and grab that and go that way come out below the skin Pull that through like a purse string, got it. <laughs> Watch there, huh? <laughs> That's looking good. Nice little pucker we got there. You can hold that up, see where we're coming across. We come, go back just a little, take a bite, superficial. Run it horizontal to the skin level there. Pop out right by the edge. If you don't like it, take it out and redo it. Perfect. Okay. Now you can see when we pull that, it cinches it. Because we got that knot at the other end. We just do one more here, tie the knot and bury it and we're done. It'll be a little puckered up for the first, you know, two weeks, three weeks or so. These stitches will start to dissolve. They're pretty thin. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to come back, get stitches out. I did a buried stitch for you. <laughs> so right there, we'll leave a little loop. there put that in pull it out right beside the wound there's our stitching just like that so we pull that up and you pull the skin all the way down and it sucks right back in there okay so you have a little gauze what you can see here is kind of what looks like a little caterpillar almost. It's a little puckered up there because um, it's got tension underneath. You can see all the way across there. 
Now that's gonna relax all out, but we want that tissuey version, that puckering up. And you can see there's an indent. She has an indent on that side and an indent on that side. That's the pocket that was where the cyst was. Um, and that's normal for when we, especially when we pull this together, it pulls that down even more, but that's kind of putting pressure on the little bleeders in there. We're kind of pulling everything down and in. And then as that dissolves, it just flattens back out and she's gonna heal up here with no tension on these where we cut her here. So that's gonna look good. And it's like a purse string, it kind of pulls it together, but you'll see in time that skin just flattens back out and it's gonna be good. I did cut a small ellipse to get some of that extra tissue that was pooched out from the cyst. If you just cut a straight line, you have even more bunched up, but we got some out of there. Um, I leave a little bit so we have something to pucker up, but if you take too much of it out, then you know, you'll have like an indent. We want that skin to pull flat. But it looks good. So what we'll do is um, if she's in town or, you know, she can always stop back by in a month or two for a post if, if she wants to just to see how it healed. Everything's going to dissolve um, on the inside so she doesn't come back for a suture removal. And that's a running subcuticular on a facial cyst. Thanks for popping by. Mm -hmm.